different and I'm going to be showing you what the accommodation at Oxford University looks like. Obviously, I'm not the Oxford student because I'm not as intelligent, but my sister is going to be studying uh, for a master's here and she just moved into accommodation, so I thought I would show you a quick room tour because I think it's pretty snazzy and if I was at uni, I wished my room looked like this. And I thought this would be very, very helpful for people who are thinking of going to Oxford or who just want a bit of a nosy like I do and to kind of reminisce on your youth of what could have been. So without further ado, let's go. Let's start off with what the view from the window looks like. They're pretty snazzy. I don't know why there's uh, kids unicycles and bikes there though in the distance, but there you go. But this is what the window looks like. When you register, they also give you a cute little goodie bag. They give you a little bag as well, a tote bag. That's a very good size tote bag. Uh, so you've got some chives. I'm really glad that I never got this because I would have killed it. Chive That's pot. so cute. Look, growing gift set of a little pot for all the cooking that you're going to do, obviously. Oh my <laughs> gosh! You get a little wooden spatula. Eco pen. Cute magnet. This is really good for parents to put on the fridge. <laughs> um, and an Oxford map. That's very, very cute that they give you a little goodie back. And Mama, she wanted me to show you what the mug looked like that you also got. Just love that they brand University of Oxford on anything. Oh, do you want a cup of tea in my Oxford mug? Okay, so as you walk in, this is the ensuite bathroom. So you've got the shower, toilet roll, very standard, a cupboard for your products like this um, and yeah it's actually very very big for a non-suite especially for student accommodation looks like this and as you walk in you get a ceiling to floor bookshelf which should be filled with books but instead it's now cooking equipment so we've just put some like rice cookers obviously you need a rice cooker <laughs> This is what the room looks like. So it's actually super spacious, especially for a single room. It's very surprising. Um, you've got a lot of wardrobe space here. So over here, you can just put all of your belongings. And here you've got a mirror to get ready and to hang some more stuff. Super big. You've also got an armchair here. I didn't really explain what everything looks like because you can see for yourself. It's designed to be social as well, which I really, really like. You can sit here, have some dinner, a uh, single bed. Now they don't provide you with a duvet, so if you are moving in then remember to bring your bedding and all of that jazz. And underneath here we just realised that if you pull this bit out, it turns into like an even bigger desk. So I guess if you're doing project work or if you wanted a dinner table or something, I don't know, you, you've got extra room which is pretty neat, so... Ooh. Oh no, I think I've just ruined it. Oh no. There we go. You've also got a massive cork board and more shelves and things. Little cupboard. Do you want to name your chive? Chives. Maybe Clive the chive. <laughs> oh, Clive. <laughs> Clive the chive is now living in Oxford. Welcome to your new home. Aww, so cute. This is so cute. Imagine you studying here at Oxford with Clive the chive mm -hmm. looking out at this view. My sister is demonstrating exactly how big the bed is and even though it's single, there's plenty of room that you don't even need to sleep on the pillow. Even when it's two o'clock in the afternoon. I think this place might be close to a farm because I can hear a cow. At least I hope it's a cow. So uh, yeah, so this is what the room looks like. I think there's definitely room for me to stay when I come and visit. Cool. Okay. And now, let's go and look for the kitchen. I'm not sure where they are. This is the kitchen. This is like a common room, kind of, for your block. Wow, oh. You have your own cupboard, an ironing board. Make some coffee in the mornings. That's the cupboard that you get. Oh my gosh, it's like a proper kitchen. <laughs> so cool. I don't like these kind of stoves, though. But yeah, so this is what the kitchen looks like as well. Again, designed to be very sociable, which I really like. Lots of space to kind of chat, have dinner, do your ironing, microwave some bits. Pretty snazzy. Are you excited? <laughs> and this is the fridge and freezer, I'm guessing. Oh, 
I don't know why I'm opening a freezer like no one's ever seen it before, but there you go. Super clean, not for long until everyone moves in. This is what the hallway looks like. And this is what the hallway looks like and the stairs. Oh, it looks so academic and amazing. <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm being a very, very proud parent right now, like running around and checking everything else out and making sure that everything is all in order and looks good. But that gives you an idea of what accommodation looks like. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour and a quick nosy around with me. And now we're gonna head out into Oxford and grab some food because I am starving and I can hear food calling my name. So I shall see you in my next video. Bye.